Good morning. I think it's about half past ten now. It's uh, Sunday, the 14th of January. I did not start this week's vlog yesterday um, because I did not want to talk on camera yesterday. Um, which also means I didn't record yesterday's YouTube video. Or the YouTube video I want to put up today. I didn't record that yesterday. But I will be doing it today. Um, so <laughs> Lila is just sprinting around the house at the moment. Um, so I just had a day off yesterday. I just felt like it. Um, and it's really sunny. The sun has come out. So um, I met up with a friend yesterday. We had a coffee and a chat and just got a couple of things done that we wanted to get done. And yeah, just had a nice time. And Lila is squeaking in the kitchen. I think she likes the echo sometimes. <laughs> um, I really should go and see what she's up to in a minute. She's been having the zoomies this morning. It's very cute. Um, so yesterday afternoon, I did a lot of nothing. Although I say that, I did actually finish writing the video that I want to record today. So that is really good. So I shall get that done. Um, I didn't even do any reading. I just played Candy Crush and alternated between YouTube and Candy Crush. Um, I, I just needed an afternoon off. I did also go into town. So I did do a few things in the end, but nothing really productive. Um, I didn't even really do a lot of reading. I did pick up Wastelands and I read one story out of 34, so I'm on page 28. Um, I read Bullet Point by Elizabeth Bear and that was brutal and I really enjoyed it. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting into the rest of this collection, but my focus is going to be on Divine... no, Ruthless Vows. Divine Rivals was the first one. Um, this is 400 pages long, I think. 420 pages long. Um, so I'm not expecting to finish this today, although I said that about Divine Rivals and I read that in one sitting. Or, or one day, not one sitting. Um, so I am going to get into that, but I am recording today and do have a few bits to do around the house. Also, last night, I posted on Twitter saying, I'm rereading Wheel of Time and this has made me realise how much I enjoy massive epic fantasy. So I want some recommendations for big, big series. And fuck Malazan. Um, people had some really strong opinions on the fuck Malazan comments, but <laughs> like, <laughs> she's having a little scratch on the uh, cardboard things I get for them. Um, <laughs> so the thing is with Malazan, if you make any noise about reading any fantasy ever, the response you get was Malazan, recommend Malazan. And it's one of those big series that it, it just takes a while to get into and I'm just tired of seeing it recommended everywhere so I didn't want Malazan to be recommended and it's a bit of a joke on the fantasy subreddit that no matter what the prompt for people what they want someone will recommend Malazan. Um, <laughs> so I, that's where the fuck Malazan comment came from. Um, the thing is the, the tweet kind of took on a life of its own um, as of this morning, it's got over 100 replies, which is really abnormal for me. And I, I always expect like three or four from people I follow going, oh yeah, I've read this recently, you might enjoy it. Um, so I've got a mass load of books to go through. I'm still getting notifications, some really fantastic recommendations, some series that I've got, so I will bump those up. Um, a lot of people recommended the Lycanius trilogy, which is obviously the um, book that the first book is one of the ones I was putting on the priority TBR this year because it's had it for so long so a few non-fantasy recommendations I had a couple of people recommend me historical romance um, I don't know why I suspect they wrote it um, and as always I asked for uh, Indian self-pub because we love, we love Indian self-pub fantasy on this channel and um, Lila's just being Lila. Um, are you alright there, darling? The world's a very strange place for you, isn't it? This is what I have to put up with. She's either out of it and sleeps for 20 hours, or she's just running around crazy. I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's, that's where we are this morning, so uh, I'm going to go and see what my notifications look like. I've been away from, from Twitter for 20 minutes, so I should imagine I have some more recommendations to look at. I might make a video about it. I haven't decided. 
Um, there is a lot in that thread now, so we'll see. Um, I'm gonna go and see what Lila's up to. She's toasting that brain. Make sure she's in the sunshine. It is ten past one, or about to be ten past one. I've just recorded my video, and I've got to say, I'm still enjoying a much tidier library. All the books from the floor piles are still in the spare room. And I think they shall remain there until someone decides they want to stay in the spare room, and then I'll move them back. It's just much nicer to record in here with it being tidy. Um, and yeah, I will work through those piles as, uh, as I work through my TBR. But also, with the piles being moved through, it means I can focus on the oldest books, which are all on a bookcase. But anyway, I need to go and edit this so I can get this uploaded today, and then I can do some reading. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and do that now. It is just after half past four, it's 20 to five now, I'm about to start cooking. They fed the cats. Um, Lila has actually stirred, I wasn't expecting her to. Spencer has eaten. Lila had the zoomies a lot this morning and missed on getting her full 20 hours of sleep today, so I didn't really expect her to do a lot. Um, and I've realised that I've been vlogging weekly for a while now, it's nearly a month, it's actually a month tomorrow, this is the day I got made redundant. And I'm not showing you cooking. I don't do a lot of cooking. Although now I've got the air fryer, I do a lot more cooking because for me, it's always been so much of a faff when it's just me um, and I'm cooking and then there's everything to deal with and then there's what to do with leftovers and everything. But um, I'm, I'm cooking tonight. These were on offer at Tesco, which is a whole other argument. There's this big debate. Is Tesco allowed to offer separate offer just for club card because obviously it's tracking your data and there's this whole debate it's like should they be allowed to do that because everyone pays a more expensive price if they don't have a club card but you only get the offer if you have a club card and honestly i just scan my club card because did, did they tesco did a yearly wrap up and the amount of red bull i bought last year was shocking um I, that's another rant for another day. I, I used to do the energy drinks a lot and I'm not now, um, mainly because they're expensive and it's just something I've had to cut out of my budget. And it's just a whole other rant I can't be bothered to get into. Um, state of that banana. That's manky. Ew. So I am going to put together my food and I'll be eating it tomorrow because I can't eat a whole packet of this in one go. So it serves four, but there's never enough mix for all of them. So I'm gonna go and make that. Just a bit of chopping involved. And, oh, I've got my chicken over there. Discovered if you buy the off cuts with the chicken, it's actually cheaper than buying chicken breast. And since I'm hacking everything up to go in a pan, doesn't matter if it's already off cuts. So, yay. Um, so I'm gonna cook this. It's gonna be tasty. I might, ch I've got plenty of hot sauce actually. I'm gonna chuck some hot sauce into it. It smells good. Good morning. It is just after half past eight on Monday the 15th of January. So today marks a month of being unemployed. <sighs> yeah job hunting today it's monday so back to the job hunting and um, we'll just see what happens yesterday i did not read i didn't do any reading yesterday i did not start ruthless fouls i started this this morning while i was having my cup of tea although actually i say i didn't do any reading i read the next story in wastelands and didn't enjoy it as much as the first one but that was all of 10 pages um so we're back to the trying to do too much again um, because I keep looking at my books going, I should be reading, I should be reading. Not realising really that no one cares if I don't read 15, 16 books in January. It's only me who cares and it's not that important. Just getting on with stuff is more important than trying to read 20 books in a month. So uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to read today, I'm going to job hunt today, I'm going to see how things go. I am going into town. Because I do need to take some more stuff down to the charity shop. I did not go out yesterday, so I need to go out today and, you know, not be a gremlin at home. 
Um, it's chilly today. We have a feels like temperature of minus six, which is just unnecessary. It's only going to last this week. It looks like it's getting milder by the weekend. Um, so I'm going to go out, take some stuff to the charity shop, take that into town, but then walk back from town to get some steps in because I say I did not yesterday and that's all I need to do into town is take stuff to the charity shop. It just gets me out of the house. Um, book journal is behind because I haven't, haven't done last week's books. I haven't done last week's books. So I would like to do that as well today and just just keep on top of things a little bit better rather than just looking at everything going I have too much to do and do nothing just do little bits of everything um that's all that's going on this morning as I say it's chilly this morning not a lot going on it is only half past eight on a Monday so we'll we'll just see how today goes it, it's two seconds later I just took my phone off the tripod and checked the weather it's now a minus seven feels like I don't want to go outside, but I need to go outside. It is 1pm, something has come up today, so um, I'm probably not going to vlog a lot till this evening, um, and that's really just the update I have now. It's quarter past four, I've just got back. Um, I've got changed, haven't I? Yeah. Um, I had a job interview, I've just had one. Uh, that was not on my list of things to do this morning, but I got a phone call at lunchtime, and it's a place I'm interested in. So the answer was obviously yes, I can do an interview with less than four hours notice. That's fine. But yes, had an interview. I'm not going to make any comment on it. I'm just going to wait and see what happens. But um, yeah, that's what I was doing this afternoon, getting ready for that. So this evening, I'm going to do some reading this evening. Good morning. It's about 9am on Tuesday the 16th of January. Um, I'm going to try and be a little bit more consistent with the vlogging through the rest of the week. Um, hasn't gone off to the greatest start. Um, today I am having a sofa day. I have decided that is what is happening. I am in my other hoodie, my newer one. It is much thicker and bigger than the green one that I normally wear um, because today is another chilly day and I really don't feel like doing anything today um, other than reading because it's it's been a few days since I've actually got any reading done and as we discovered over the new year I'm happier when I'm actually getting some reading in. Um, what I'm not happy about is when Spencer, because it's not Lila, gets into my books and has bitten the top of Ruthless Vows. Spencer, she's ignoring me. Um, I read one chapter of this yesterday, so I'm on page 16. So I'm going to be working on this today. I am going to be checking the jobs, of course. We never stop with the job hunting. Um, but other than that, th that's it for the day. That is it for the day. I'm going to read this and I'm going to look at the jobs. And if I get on well with this, I should really edit last week's vlog, you know, rather than leaving it tomorrow when I'm actually going to upload it. So we shall see. But this morning, the plan is to really just read as much of this as possible and uh, see how I get on. Um, I've been having a look back at the videos that I've been putting up recently and I've discovered that the longer the vlog the better. Um, people seem to love an hour long vlog. It does take a while to edit but given the choice between a 30 minute vlog and an hour long vlog the hour long one does so much better than the 30 minute one. Um, and I didn't think my vlogs were that interesting but people just seem to like me talking about things for an hour. So um, I'm going to attempt to vlog more, but I'm going to get a cup of tea and I'm just going to start this and come back to you and let you know how I think of it. It is half past 11. I am on page 95. Um, my thing's out for delivery. That's good. Um, I'm really enjoying getting back into this, this world. It is really quite a nice world to be in. And we're discovering more and more about the war and the gods and what's going on. But I was also interested to see how the magic of the first book with the letter writing would continue and how it would work in the second book. And I've got to say, I'm actually really liking how it's been approached this time around. Um, so I'm interested to see how that is going to play out. Um, but that's it, really. We are just still getting set up in the story. I'm going to read a little bit more and then it'll be lunchtime. And, uh, well... So it's, it's not going to be 
a thrilling day and I've managed to scratch my nose, which is quite sore. It is just after 3pm. Um, the job hunting is still going really slow. <laughs> um, we really have only had two full weeks back since the new year, so things are still pretty quiet. Um, I'm hoping things pick up very soon because it would be nice to be employed again. But, you know, we'll just keep looking. So I've been kind of doing that and doing some reading. Um, I've been making really good progress, actually. I'm on page 256. Um, I would say Divine Rivals was my favourite, but I am liking what's going on in this one. Um, it does start about two weeks after Divine Rivals finishes and picks up the threads quite nicely. Then I've got one or two plot threads I'm wondering where they're going and what they're going to be doing. Um, there's a couple of things which haven't really been picked up since the end of Divine Rivals so I'm interested to see where we end up but there's, like, there's 150 pages left so there's still quite a bit of book to get through before we get to the end and it's a duology I think. So that will be a series finished because I'm actually tracking my series this year. Um, um, I've got a spreadsheet of all the series. Haven't finished it yet. Um, haven't really decided what the rules are for putting series on this spreadsheet. It's like, is it stuff that I've started this year? But then Wheel of Time, I started in 2022. But I'm going to be reading them this year. So I don't know. But The Divine Rivals is on it. I don't know what the series is called. Letters of Enchantment, I think. Um, so that'll be a duology finished. Um, yeah, I've got a little while before the kitties wake up and want feeding, so I'm going to do a little bit more reading. I think I'm just going to put a screenshot in of my series tracker here. It's very much a work in progress. All it is, is a spreadsheet on my reading tracker that I have. Um, I've added another tab. Oh, there's joined us. Um, so it has the name of the series, the number of the book, one, two, three, or whatever, um, the title, the author, and then the date that I've read it. I'm still deciding what series I add to this. So it's it's really, I'm not going too far back. Like Rivers of London, I'm not adding. I'm up to date with that series. I've been reading it a long time. My glasses are dirty. Um, so I've got Yarns World, which has got five books out. I reread the one of them this year already. So that's gone in because I want to finish the series. Letters of Enchantment with Divine Rivals and Rufus Vows has gone on because I've started it this year. Now, The Wheel of Time I have put on. Even though I read The Eye of the World in May 2022, I didn't realise it was that long ago, um, I'm going to be reading one a month is the plan. So I've popped it on here. I've just added all the books, including New Spring, which is 0 0.5. The Library Trilogy from Mark Lawrence, even though I read book one last year, I've popped that on because book two is coming out this year, book three is coming out next year. And there's the series I'm going to continue. And then Songs of Chaos by Michael R. Miller. Again, I read book one, Ascendant, last year. And I'm going to be continuing on with the series. There's Unbound and Defiant. And I think he's writing book four. That's all that's on my series tracker so far because, as I said, I'm not going back and adding everything because it's just too much work. Um, as I start new series, I'll add them or if I realise I'm rereading like um, Mistborn, I want to reread Mistborn. I will track it on here because I read it over such a long period of time before. And I'm going to be rereading Era 1, Era 2, and then finishing off Era 2 because I haven't read The Lost Metal. Um, so I'll be adding that. Stormlight Archive, which number 5 comes out this year, I'm not rereading. I won't pop it on here. Um, I'm making up the rules as I go along, but yeah, my, my nose is sore. Um, so as I decide stuff, or if I've read one book and I realise I want to reread it, I'll pop it on here maybe finish off a trilogy. I don't know. I'm making it up as I go along, as I said. It is ten past nine. I've got up to page 374. I just cannot fit any more words into my head today. So I cannot manage that last little stretch of book. Um, 
everything is about to happen. We're about to start having the climax. Everything is going to start wrapping up. All the big events are about to happen. But I just cannot fit that in. Just cannot do it. Um, so this was exactly what I needed today. This book, just reading. I have looked at the job sites. There's still not a lot going on because it is still fairly early in the year. Um, but I've just enjoyed reading for the sake of reading today. And I haven't been doing enough of that. I've been reading to get content made. Just so there was something for the vlog. But I've just been reading for the sake of reading today. And it's been nice. So um, I'm going to bed soon. Um, and I'll finish this in the morning and then we are back to um, SBFBO tomorrow. I'm going to be reading another finalist. We'll be starting that tomorrow. Um, I might go into town and take the library books back. I do have Divine Rivals out from the library. Obviously, I've bought that for myself since. Um, I have got the Foxglove King. And I don't think I'm going to get to it in the library book. But that's fine because it turns out that I have it on Kindle. Um, I bought it in August. It was on 99 pence offer. Um, so I should really check these things before I get them out from the library. So I can still read it, just not physically. Um, and obviously I've bought the, the whole duology because it was actually great. Um, so that's the plan for tomorrow. There is more stuff to go to the charity shop. I don't know how I feel about that, if I can be bothered. Um, but for now, there's enough words in my head. I've had enough story today. I'm going to go to sleep. Good morning. It is just after half past nine on Wednesday the 17th of January and I can see how my nose looks on camera. It is sore. It, it's, I, I dropped something and I don't know how I managed it, but I caught my nose with my nail. I've cut my nails off since. Um, if that was a sign I needed to trim my nails, I don't know what else it could have been. Um, so today is a lovely sunny day. It is plumbing freezing and icy outside. It was a very cold night. And I'm going to go outside. <laughs> I'm going into town because, as I said last night, I'm going to take my library books back as I've since bought one. And it turns out I've got the other one on my Kindle. So they can go back to the library so that someone else can... Is They're available if someone else wants to take them out. Um, reading update. I finished Ruthless Vows this morning while I was drinking my cup of tea. And... I know I say I don't cry when I read books, but I'm also just being feeling a little bit tired and emotional because there was a point at the end of this where I felt a few tears welling. I did. So I really enjoyed that sequel <laughs> um, and it wrapped it up nicely. And that is a series. I have completed a series in 2024 already. I know it's only a duology, but it's completed. And I was able to mark that off on my spreadsheet. Um, I am marking them and colouring in part of the line when they are complete, where I've put the series title, so that I can see when I do the end of the year wrap up what I have completed, which is great. Um, so, other than that, um, there is always Wastelands. I still have only read two stories in this out of the 34, but this was not a five minute planned read. Although the other anthology the other day did end up being that. But I have charged up my Kindle and it is time to start an SBFBA finalist because I have six of them left to read. And I would like to get them wrapped up um, just so that it's not hanging over me. Um, I really enjoy the SBFBA reading, um, but it's always there in the back of my mind. And as there's a load of other Kindle Unlimited stuff I want to read... I feel like I should wrap up that first before I move on to the other stuff. So it'll just be a nice thing. Also, it means where the logs who have bigger teams tend to post later on, it means my stuff's not going to get swallowed up when all of them get all their work and reviews finished, because there, there is only me. So that's where we are this morning. Um, I, I've also edited my vlog. Now, I need to get out of this habit because I finished the vlogs on a Friday to go up on a Wednesday. And it's now Wednesday and I'm just editing it. I've got five days and the whole point was that I would have the weekend time or the other time. I know weekends are fairly irrelevant at the moment, but 
I'm still leaving it till the last minute. So that is a habit. Next week we shall try and get the vlog edited sooner. Um, so I need to go and wrap up warm, take these library books back and, you know, I think I might walk home, get the bus in, walk home, get some more steps in. That's a good plan. Right, so I'm going to go and do that. Um, it does look cold. I can see how icy it is on the roofs of the street in front of me. So I need to go and find my scarf and a hat and some gloves. And then when we get back, get nice and toasty again. It's cold. I'm going home. It's half past 12. I certainly wasn't planning on being out so long and I've got lines on my head from my hat. Oh, I certainly wasn't planning on going down to the seafront when I left the house this morning. Um, but, you know, I decided to go and it was nice and fresh. I say fresh, I mean cold. Um, certainly blew the cobwebs out. So I'm going to have some lunch and get nice and toasty now. Good morning. It's about quarter past nine on Thursday, the 18th of January. It is a lovely sunny day today. It also has a feels like temperature of minus eight, which is nice. And I think I'm going to go out and treat myself to a coffee treat today. I think so. That would be nice. Nice coffee treat today. So um, did I read last night or did I doom scroll and get lost on YouTube shorts as well? I think we all know the answer to that one. I wasted the entire evening yesterday. Um, which is great. Um, really do need to try and rein that habit in a bit and do a little bit more reading than doom scrolling. But you know, it's just easier to sit there on your phone and scroll and scroll and scroll. Um, so <laughs> I did actually read a story yesterday during the day out of Wastelands. I read Expedition 83 and I really enjoyed that one. Um, so there's still plenty to read in here. <laughs> Making really slow progress in this one but there's no rush. Today's plan is to start Daughter of the Beast, which is my next planned SBFBO finalist read. Um, so I'm planning on making some headway in that today. Um, and, you know, job hunting and staying toasty because it is cold today and um, I've had the heating on this morning and I've already spent a bloody fortune on the smart meter. So that's great. I actually have a floor length hoodie and I'm tempted to just put that on when I get back from getting a coffee and I'll be really toast I will be really warm in that and toasty that is a definitely a good plan just snuggle up in that and read and job hunt don't forget the job hunting that's still going on it's still very quiet um there really is not a lot to report this morning so I'm just gonna go actually now and treat myself to a coffee. It is 20 past three and I realise I haven't updated you really today. There's not a lot to update to be honest. I've been doing job hunt stuff today, um, filling in some online assessments and stuff, so nothing truly exciting. But I have been doing some reading. I have started Daughter of the Beast. I'm only about 50 pages in, but I'm enjoying it so far. Um, it's definitely an interesting world and I can't wait to see where we go, but there's not a lot to talk about at this point. The writing is really easy to get into though, so um, that's a bonus. I'm gonna read some more tonight. Um, it's been a blooming chilly day today, let's just say that, and I've changed into my really thick hoodie. Not the floor length one. That one's really awkward. <laughs> um, we never got any snow. It's been sunny all day, and we've had snow forecast on a couple of different weather apps, but it's never really been cloudy enough. Oh, a few flakes fell down. When I went out and got my coffee this morning, there was a couple of little flakes and that was it. But it was still really sunny. It wasn't that cloudy. Um, and that's really all I've got for today. Um, I'm... I'm gonna, it's not even time to think about food or anything. So I'm just going to carry on reading for a bit, I think. Um, I've been watching a couple of YouTube videos and I realised I haven't really done any colouring recently. So depending on how I get on with this book, I might do some colouring tonight or tomorrow. Really would like to do some, I do kind of miss it. But I've been just, you know, 
between reading, catching up with YouTube, and job hunting, I feel like every minute is accounted for. I mean, if I didn't do as much doom scrolling, I would probably have more time for other stuff. So I definitely need to stop doing that. Good morning. It is about 9am on Friday the 19th of January. It is a cold day today. Um, it's icy outside. I have to go and de-ice my car in a bit because I need to go out and do the shopping. I need food. The kitties need food. We don't want them nibbling on my toes at night because they are hungry. Um, so I do need to go out, but it, it shouldn't take long. And uh, gone brave Tesco. Yay. Uh, so there's not a lot going on. There's really not been a lot going on in the last couple of days. I have been reading Daughter of the Beast. I'm on page, what are we on? 107. Uh, so that's about a quarter of the way through. So I'm going to hopefully make some really good progress in that today. Um, and then I can get my review sorted. And I do really need to update my reading journal because I still haven't done it. Um, I still did some doom scrolling last night. I still did some doom scrolling last night. I'm going to try and avoid doing that again. I'm trying to cut that down um, and focus on the reading because the reading is important. The doom scrolling just makes you feel rubbish. Um, there, there really is nothing to talk about this morning. It's been quiet. I've been reading. I haven't been updating my book journal and I haven't been doing any colouring. And that's where we are on Friday morning. It is just after half past 12 now. I've been out and done the shopping. Tesco wasn't too busy. I even remembered to buy supermarket pizza because I fancied pizza the other night. But at the moment, I can't really order pizza from the takeaway. So and I, I couldn't be bothered to go out and go and get one because I already had my cosy wear on. Uh, so I remembered to buy one from the supermarket today. So I bought a nice Tesco one, um, which is really, really exciting. I think I'll have that tonight. Um, what else is going on? I am going to go out. Um, I'm feeling like I need to go out, stretch my legs. We've got a storm coming in over the weekend, I think. It's going to be rainy and windy. And the weather is cold today, but sunny. So it would just be nice to get out. So I'm going to go and wrap up warm. Go and get the bus into town. I don't need anything from town um and just wander around and then come home just to get out because while the storm's here i probably won't um <laughs> probably just cozy up on the sofa and pretend the outside doesn't exist while it's windy and windy and rainy so i'm gonna go and do that now oh reading update um let's have a look i read eight more pages of daughter of the beast so i'm gonna go into town come back and then settle down and read this afternoon I think um, and that's my afternoon plan yes that is so exciting